In this quick video guide, I want to talk to you about FileZilla. Now, what is FileZilla? This is a really small, simple and easy to use software that will let you do uploads and downloads through the file transfer protocol, which is the F FTP. So you can use this little software if you want to transfer files, just because you need, for example, a backup uh, not so locally, but a remote backup of your files, or if you want to share it privately with other colleagues or other friends. But also this is really useful if you want to do a website using HTML pages and other types of files that uh, you will need to create a website. So uh, let's go into the first result here from the search and let's select here download FileZilla client. This is what you will need. And again, click here and you have different types of uh, packages here, but you will need just the first one to do these uh, basic operations. Now you can use FTP standard and also secure FTP. You can use both. So I will click here into the download button and this will download my, uh, there you go. These are all the steps you need to do. And you will find then the uh, the FTP downloaded into your download folder right here. So double click this and just proceed with the installation which will be really fast and really easy. Just go forward, 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 choose the installation folder and then you're finished. Now once you do that you, it's gonna open automatically and so I already installed it so I won't do this again but uh, then you will find it in your start menu right there. You, you can open it in many ways here. You can just type also down here FileZilla. All right, now you can see it's already open it up and running. So wh what I'm doing right now, it's downloading because I want to create a backup of, my web, of one of my websites. So uh, this particular website uh, was built in WordPress, was developed with WordPress, which is a CMS, content management system. And every single CMS has its own structure, which is based on uh, web pages, PHP codes and other stuff here. So thanks to this tool, I can see the backend of my website. So I can see how it's composed, what uh, the files what are the uh, folders and everything else. So I can get into my backhand. I can see the backstage basically of my show, which is my website. So how it is structured, how FileZilla is um, organized. It's pretty simple. It's uh, really, really simple. You have this uh, right part here and the, this left part. So the left part, it's the local site. So it's basically what you are seeing into your computer. And probably you will have a copy of your website into your computer where uh, you want to make changes or maybe tests or things like that. Or again, if you are using this just as an online storage, as a cloud solution, you would, will just have like a copy of your project or whatever. Now here in the right part, you have your remote folder or your remote site which is not in your computer uh, obviously but it's in a server which is uh, open 24 7 uh, every time and this is useful because otherwise your website would turn off in a certain time of the day while in this case it's gonna be uh, up every time it's gonna be online always and this is thanks to a server that it's always on. Uh, well, you can also become a server provider if you wish, but it's another story. So probably you have, you pay someone, you pay a service to give you the online space and uh, eventually also, also the domain. So in, if you want a website, you, need, you will need the domain and the space. You will need two things. You will need to buy two things. Otherwise, if you just want to use this as an online storage, you will just need the space and there are a lot of providers out there, either for the webs, if you want to do a website or if you want to just create an online storage. Now, in both ways, this is pretty useful because we can 
use it as a backup. We can use it uh, to publish things on the web. We can use to share things on the web and so on. Now, uh, the things that you need, uh, at, at first you will only see the local side here of the um, of your uh, project because you will not be connected right away when you first open up FileZilla. So the first thing you need to do is to set this top bar with your username which is kind of a email. So you're gonna set there your username, you're gonna set there your FTP which it's like your website, similar to your domain, but instead of www, you're gonna insert FTP. And also you will need your username and the password to access your service, your uh, web space service. Sometimes you also need a port, but not every time. So once you insert all this information, you can, say, you can click on connection well, this is in Italian, I've just realized, but it's pretty un uh, easy to understand. So you connect. Once you connect, this right part is going to appear. So otherwise, you, you, won't, you won't see anything here. Now you have everything, um, all the information right here at the top that can give you information about your connection. And what else? You can then... Uh, yeah, you basically can, can you can start to upload or download stuff. So, for example, right now I am downloading. I'm downloading a folder which is called we, uh, WP Content right here. So, to do this, I just right click and say download. Or I can also use the other buttons. That I don't know why. Yeah, oh, there you go. So, right click download or also sometimes you find buttons right here so also here you have drop down menus but this is the quickest way so right click or also you can drag and drop so if I want to download something I just click from here and drag it into my computer into the folder where I want that thing to be stored or the other way if I have I have constructed a website for example with Dreamweaver or with uh, well, also with a basic text editor, you can create web pages. Once the web page is complete and your website is complete on your computer, then you can upload it into your web space. You can do right click and say upload, or you can just click and drag as well. So it's as simple as that. And well, this is it for this really quick video guide. I hope you enjoy it. So if you like it, please subscribe to the channel. Our channel is JVDTube. You can subscribe. You can help us through the community. You, we have different projects here. Also, a simple PayPal link if you want to send us just a small donation. Also, through the store. And of course, comments. Leave your comments with uh, questions or uh, suggestions that can be helpful as well. And check out our other videos. And also in the playlist page, we will find video courses in English right here at the top. And we, find, we produce also other guides about web design, but we will do more in the future, hopefully, if you support us. So thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video.